So today is probably one of the weirdest episodes that we've ever had here in the long drive. And stay tuned, folks, because surprising things happen. And I think it's all due to a little genie lamp. So be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's jump in. So folks, I think my game is broken. I've never seen the road do this. This is actually kind of amazing because the whole fact that the grass has been mowed and I'm getting lag. What's happening behind me? Uh, are we having some sort of AI explosion? By the way, welcome back to the long drive. Hope you guys are having a very good day today. I'm having a good day because we're going to have a Carlless and Carrotless day, which by the way, here are the theories from the last episode. Pretty good stuff here, but yeah, my game's broken. Like what in the heck? You know, somebody mentioned this last episode. We found uh, this road, which is now, I guess a dirt road. Uh, it would be cool if this game had some dirt roads or maybe some branching dirt roads off the main road that led to some of the loot spots. Like, game, how am I supposed to get to all the sweet loot that's inside of this building that's below ground? It's like an underground bunker. <laughs> Did we find a secret bunker? If we could only get in there. I can't... Actually, I think... Hold on, I'm in multiplayer, or at least the multiplayer test branch. I think I can no-clip. Can I no clip down into this building? Is this a building or is this a foundation? I, I can't really, no, this has gotta be a building because there's the, uh, wait, is it? Is it a gas station? Wait, is this a diner? I don't know. I, I wanna go below ground here. Okay, I should be able to fly. Can I fly below? Oh, I can. Oh, <gasps> what? That is crazy. That's actually kind of amazing that the game randomly generated this. Hold on, can we walk around? <laughs> wait, what? Huh? Wait, so when I... That doesn't make any sense, does it? Hold on, let's just stand in here. Okay, turn off. <gasps> Wait! We're below ground! We have a secret bunker! Oh, holy man, that's kind of cool! Like, if I were to have, like, a home base, why would you not choose this? We're bo Wait, what happens if we step... Oh. Oh, <laughs> Komodo's been playing the long drive too long. I think I'm now seeing things. Yeah, I kind of thought maybe this was going to be it. You know, it's actually a shame because... Wait, is that a... There's a stool on the outside. Yeah, it's a shame because I love the diner stops. They're like the best ones in the game. And this one is underground. So, essentially, it's kind of a bunker. Oh, what's the backside look like? What? I feel like we've traveled to another dimension here. This is kind of amazing. I love random stuff. Also, there's a snow biome coming up. Is that a turd? No, that's a rock. Um... Well, there is some supplies in here that I can gather for the car. Yep, this is definitely an odd one. So in order to get out of, wait, I kind of want to jump. Wait, will I fall? All right, hold on, let's test this out. Uh, oh dear. Uh, oh, okay, you fall. All right, let's go back out. Dude, that's kind of cool. It's, it's basically an underground bunker. You can kind of see the top. I kind of wish there was like a roof hatch up there that we can climb uh, down to the building. Uh, that would be a thing. Uh, so it's my uh, genie lamp. We found that too. But that's enough messing with the uh, the underground bunker there. We need to go to our next stop. We need to see what this road does. I, I want to finish this game because I was told another YouTuber has finished this game and actually turned around and went back. I think his name is called Scapegoat, which now I have to go find the YouTuber and totally watch uh, their videos because that's kind of exciting. Uh, that's definitely some dedication right there. I mean, if I didn't screw around with Carrot and Carl half the time, I wouldn't have these issues. And Wait, does the road disappear again? Dude, this is totally messed up. Like, are we gonna even find any, like, stops to go to? Or are they gonna all be underground? Some might say it's Carl playing with my game world right now. All right, so we're back in the desert biome. Hopefully we don't have any more, like, really screwed up spots, even though it was kind of cool. Like, the only way to access the bunker was gonna be to no clip, so definitely would be useless if we weren't in the multiplayer test branch, but Nonetheless, that was uh, that was pretty awesome. But yeah, it looks like it's gonna change over to the, wait. If it changes over to the snow biome again, do I still have snowmen in the game? I don't think I do. Maybe I do. I don't know, we'll see here in a minute. Okay, we are definitely back in the winter wonderland and there are no snowmen. So that mod must be uh, disabled on my end. Uh, kind of a shame, I do like the snowman. But, you know, it's fine. I don't, we don't need snowmen. We can just uh, continue our adventure here. Uh, I got plans. I, I got some upgrades I want to do to the car itself. Uh, I feel like we need uh, 
need to basically refurbish it. I, I like the V8 motor, but uh, I think this is a fairly stable platform. But if you guys were to pick something besides the Fury to stick this V8 motor in, what kind of car would it be? Uh, we got a basically a ton of different options. You know, I even thought about putting in maybe in one of the diesels, uh, like the big trucks. Uh, I don't know how the V8 motor reacts to that. I'm assuming it would be able to power it definitely enough instead of just the uh, standard diesel motor. Not gonna lie, it's super peaceful out here in the stow. And oh no, here comes the AI do! Oh jeez! Thank you, game. Thanks for spawning that right in front of me. Nice. Wow, it's a miracle we didn't die there. That was a terrible collision. Hold on. Let's go ahead and clean this up here. <laughs> uh, is that a cop? Mm, maybe. You know, you could go arrest the person uh, that just ran me over. Holy man. Okay, well, we still have the engine. All my stuff fell out, though. Uh, oh, no, my, not my genie lamp. I need that. Oh, my goodness. I'm just so done with the AI. Wait, is that my door? Uh, or is that their door? This might be their door. No, this is definitely their door. That's not the color of my car. Uh, all right, I got to get my tires back. Uh, these aren't the AI. No, I think the AI was able to drive off. Uh, I lost my right side tires. There's also bunnies kind of surrounding the area. Uh, I definitely want to move. Oh, is this my tire? Uh, oh, I've got four tires. Which one was mine and which one was theirs? That's not good. Well, one of our tires might disappear if we have to reload the save. Uh, jeez. That's an absolute mess. All right. Well, it's nice and dark out. We're back on the road. Uh, a little uh, worse for wear, but hey, we're fine. It's not that bad. Also, I think I'm running low on fuel. Uh, we need to pull over somewhere. It'd be nice if we got a maybe some sort of gas station. You know, maybe we can uh, wish for a gas station. Uh, I don't know if we've ever used a genie lamp in the snow biome. Hello, genie lamp. Uh, here, come here. Okay, so we're going to rub you. You're going to light up. And with all your magical powers, I wish for... Hmm. Uh, a full tank of gas. Wait, how many wishes do I get with these? Uh, we're going to go with three wishes. Okay, I want a full tank of gas. I want all the likes on the video. And I want a red UFO. You know, that's something I've only seen once, and that was because we had a glitched out mod that spawned in about 400 UFOs at once, and it was absolutely terrifying, and it lagged my game out. So, you just sit in there, and you glow, and you do your thing, and you just, you help me find at least one of those things. I mean, I'm pretty sure the video will get likes, because everybody likes the long drive, but uh, the other two things would be nice, uh, gas and a UFO. Hold on, what is that? What, wait, wait. Oh, never mind. Just a uh, false alarm. That's a uh, a green star thing. It was weird because it, it was like it was in front of us, which, I, of course, the UFOs have never come from the front. Uh, they've always come from the backside. That would have been kind of awesome, to be honest with you. Wait, is that a stop? No, that looks, that looks like rocks, I think. It is really dark. Like, it looks odd here in the snow biome at night. I don't know. It, it appears that it's extra dark. I don't know if it's just the color of the ground. But it looks like we're basically looking off into space over there. Oh, no! So this should be a nice PSA for uh, distracted driving. Uh, when you're looking at the pretty, like, sky, don't do that while in the middle of the road. I'm sorry, Mr. Pumpkin. Um, I'll have... You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Hold on, I wished for you. Well, this is not the red one, but I wished for a UFO, and a UFO appeared. Um, do you have a fuel tank with you? Oh, here comes the cop. The cop's just rolling up like, what? <laughs> Bet you he's confused. You know, I wonder if I reset my game again. Will I eventually get more UFOs, especially since it spawned in so early here? Like, is it scheduled to come on the first night of recording? That could be a thing. Maybe I keep restarting until I get a red UFO. Uh, that, oh, this is yours. I'm sorry. Did I even lose anything there besides, like... I don't know, my door and stuff? I think I lost a headlight. All right, I'm gonna put these back together. Uh, we'll exchange our insurance information. We'll be on our way. Okay, we're back on the road. Our car is just slowly falling apart. I mean, that was kind of my fault there. I should have been paying attention. Man, there's something to that though. Like rubbing that lamp and that UFO appearing. I mean, I'm sure it's one big coincidence, but look, there's a stop coming up. So if this stop has fuel, which, oh, this might, Oh, this might be a tower. No, this is uh, the big tower stop. This is good. So if we've got gasoline here, maybe there's something to that genie lamp. I mean, it would actually be weird because the game would be listening to you. 
which, you know, no telling what else it's listened to. So I don't even want to think about that. But uh, this is good nonetheless. Is there a car? Oh, geez. Car coming. There's a couple cars. You know, let's just pull over a little further. I don't want to open up my door and die. Yeah, we definitely have some issues here with this car. So we're going to camp here for the night. This might be a good place to test the theory of resetting the game and uh, just triggering night again because I saved right before daylight. And just let's see what happens. Maybe we'll get a red one. Which, by the way, we got to do... Oh, look, there's Carrot. Hey, Carrot. We're ignoring Carrot, you know? Carrot didn't do anything to us. He just appeared and he went that way. Okay, so I'm going to wish once again for fuel here at this stop and a red UFO. Uh, remember, get three wishes. I've already wished for likes. I don't know. Um, I wish that I had my Supra back. How about that? And that's in real life because, you know, the repairing. Uh... I got wrecked into by a Ford driver. We're not going to talk about it. All right, let's, uh, let's keep moving. Well, would you look at that? There's gas in here. It's not a full thing of gas, but it's 1.5 liters. So that's a thing. All right, so we're going to reset. Let me go put this in the car real quick. And uh, we'll see if we can get another UFO to spawn. Like, I feel like they come right around the same time. I need to get a clock out and try to time them. I'm pretty sure they're triggered at the same time every night. Well, not every night, but when they do show up. All right, well, I'm kind of severely disappointed. What you guys didn't see, I spent the past like 20 minutes reloading my save just to see if I were to get anything and it, it didn't happen. So I'm convinced the genie lamp is not tied to the... Wait, where's the genie lamp? Uh-oh, hold on. Oh, wait, did I drop it? Is it in... Uh-oh. Wait. Is it in the back seat? Just kidding, it's back there. I thought I lost the thing. I was like, okay, that's bad. Yeah, I haven't found any. <gasps> Wait, no, no, you've got to be kidding me. No, 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 Th that's the red UFO. That's the red, uh-oh. That thing is going to totally wreck us. Uh, oh, it's coming down. Wait, is it? Hold on. The red UFO is supposed to pick stuff up. What? We finally saw it. You've got to be kidding me. So I'm not going to lie. I think the genie lamp just saved us. If I didn't panic because I couldn't see it and flew off the road, we would have got sucked up by the red UFO. It's finally... Oh, I cannot believe this. How many episodes? Like, I did episodes dedicated to waiting around with my thumb up my butt going, where's the red UFO at? Why have we not been attacked by it? The only time we ever saw that it was in the game is when we glitched the game out uh, using a mod. But that's the first time we've legit seen it and we didn't die. I mean, not gonna lie, it probably would've been kinda cool to go get sucked up in it. Uh, but man. That's like our good luck charm. Let, let's keep that. Yep, that is the key to our success. Let's keep the genie lamp and hopefully it continues to bring us good luck. I mean, not gonna lie, that was kind of shocking. I was like, wait, that's red. We haven't seen that naturally occur. We've only seen it, like I said, with the, oh, Jesus, carrot. <laughs> it's okay, we got a genie lamp in the back. There's nothing that can kill us now. Like I feel, uh, oh geez, oh wait, what is this road doing? Oh no, this, whoa, another car just flew by us. Okay, this is one of those mountains. This is how we get off the uh, the snowy peaks. Um, Hey, genie lamp, I, I want a diner. Give me a diner. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, that's not good. Oh, uh, that is definitely a big crash. Uh, I crashed so hard, the game's lagging. I know you guys can't really see, but I, I might've just lost my headlights. Oh no, oh, that stuff's gonna be up there. All right, well, thankfully it's about to be day. Wait, do we still have the genie lamp? Is that... Hold on, look back there. Okay, it's still in the back seat. Whew. We're safe. Though so I've been rolling for an uncomfortable amount of time. No, not again. Stop it, game. Just stop. <laughs> oh, no. Everything's moving in slow-mo. Yeah, uh, we're definitely out of the snow biome. We just uh, launched ourselves off a mountain. Wait, why is the bunny able to move at full speed? Yeah, we're suspended in air right now, like crashing at very slow speed. <gasps> uh, okay, the genie lamp almost just fell out. All right, just correct it. Let's keep moving. I have no gauges anymore. I mean, I guess if you have no gauges, you got no problems, right? Uh, that's the thing. I, I don't even know how much fuel I have. It's as if I have unlimited fuel, and of course, until it sputters and 
and goes out. I don't know, I'm so happy right now. It doesn't even matter what happens for the rest of the episode. We saw the red UFO. It took a good 20 minutes of just resetting the game. I don't even know if resetting the game did anything, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah, I reset, I reset night. I need to seriously pay attention to what I'm doing here because I'm gonna end up dead. Um, I don't have a car left anymore, by the way. Uh, yep, no, this is great. I feel like a, a dryer or something. Okay, calm down. You saw the red UFO, not a big deal. Get back to the road. I wish for a diner, which I'm hoping we find one because we I think we need a new car now. Mine kind of exploded. Oh boy, yeah, it doesn't get any better than that. We found the red UFO today, folks. I'm so happy. We didn't get sucked up. The genie lamp kind of saved us in a sense. Uh, comment down below what you think. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time in the long drive.